Hey, yo, buddy. Bear kind of had something to say, but I think I took too long turning the camera on. Right, this is our hundredth film. Of course, the whole, get the whole damn cast and crew in here. <laughs> Except for some of the guest stars. The animals. The birds. Mainly. Birds. Hey, Mo. Mo, could, could come and uh, help us make this your hundredth movie. Oops, I hope that home oh, my pants isn't let my wiener out. No problem, Cindy will bite it off. <laughs> Keeps trying to do it with kudos, actually. She has had a boyfriend, though. Yes. On Vancouver Island. Looked just like him. First dog she met. <laughs> it's just like that. Romeo and Juliet gone. Topsy-turvy kind of thing. <sighs> yeah, none of us could stop it, eh? In seconds, they were locked up in lo a lover's dog embrace. <laughs> hey, Mo, how about you? <sighs> She's preoccupied. She only counts puppies too, so 100 really doesn't mean much to her unless it's like 100 puppies. And then boy, she sure counts. Other than that, she's not really interested in things like numbers. Hey, Mo! Or any kind of math stuff. Now! As far as I know, anyhow. Hey, Mo! Psst, psst. Mo! Mo! Hey, Mo! Uh, don't do that at home, kids. Hey, Mo. As you can see, she's like a kid in front of an electronic game or a kid's TV program. Hey, Mo. <laughs> Wow, well, you got anything to add to our hundredth um, upload? Wow. Anything to add? Okay. Come on. <laughs> okay, well, Mo's off celebrating. Yeah, I know. It's the same bunch that's been celebrating since about the 68th video. Or, or is it the 50th? Okay, anyhow. Um, thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> the important thing is, as you see, there's no need to be embarrassed about trying to put whatever it is you want to put. Like something you know, something you want to share. Something you do. Something you make. Which in itself is a infomercial it's kind of allowed you're not like trying to flog something especially mass produce something you're, you're trying to educate people on how you made it and if they want it well nothing wrong with them approaching you through an email and saying hey i want to buy that or could you sell me the process or yeah yeah some sort of trade Hey, all right, uh, there you go. It's a, it's an amazing thing, um, if we choose to use it. As you can see, we can even, we've even made the first inroads of a form of democracy. 
basically that's exactly what we've done uh, in trying to um, save ourselves from being eaten up by this terrible machine. Uh, survival is is the mother of many an invention. Don't you think? Kind of funny the way that just worked out, isn't it? I guess maybe we all kind of knew that and that's why we were drawn in to, to think collectively independent and, and, and begin making the first real attempt. I mean, to do it all over the world. And I see, really, it's... I watch people and I watch them communicate with somebody from another part of the world in the comments and whatnot. And, yeah, wow. Yeah. See there, it's easy. It takes a lot of the risk out of it, because... <coughs> Fuck! Well, I was going to punch you in the, in the nose for saying that, but I... Fuck! Just can't reach! <laughs> so, you know, it takes some of the risk out of free thinking. <laughs> just remember, if you see something that really upsets you, just scroll on by or click. I, I say if they wanted a mild form of censorship and protection, the user, it should be up to the user to decide and put the level up. And then it's got a, war, a masked over with a cover and, and you have to press a button to remove that censorship thing. Uh, but you've been warned and you've made your own decision. So whatever is under there is your business. And whoever put it there. But I don't think censorship should ever go beyond anything beyond that. This is shit we gotta really, really fucking talk about. We gotta... <clears throat> We gotta say, no, no, that's bullshit. This is the way we want it. And this is why. And so you see, and this is why you, you're gonna make it that way. Because we just did, and you're, you're gonna go with us. Because you see the sense, and what you don't see the sense in, you're gonna, you're gonna say the same thing back. And we're gonna arrive at much better decisions. And we don't sign our souls away for life. You agree to something as long as it works and then you withdraw your authority. Nothing's done until authority is given, basically. And yeah, like, 10 miles away, the next municipality or whatever, it can be slightly different and I can depend on my computer bank to, to tune into the local system and answer my question whether something is lawful or not. And that's how I'll know with, with the greatest of ease. Self-empowerment. Uh, I mean, for that matter, it can all be in a handheld storage device. There's no reason to be online. Online when you want to communicate online. and Storage being what it is nowadays, it's... Solid state storage is just getting so so micro and so energy efficient. And if you shield it r relatively robust from what have you, solar weather wise, which should be mandatory to build into everything. I mean, the standards should be serious, should have been seriously fucking reversed two years ago when all these supposed CSAs and European and Asian equivalents and standard of approvals and should have made all this electronic protection mandatory. So it's much more robust. You don't build a society on something that one solar storm like the Carrington event of uh, September 1st, 1959 caused. You know, how could you build a society that could be off by one solar storm hmm? or a whole hemisphere at the least real easy amazing it hasn't happened yet of course we never had these conditions since we had this round of electronics crap tech electronics on this planet see this is all stuff we got to race like like dogs 
to get a handle on. The buffoons can't handle it, so we got to jump in and handle it for them. Empower your government, instruct them, guide them. Cause them to cease and desist where necessary. Clearly they need help. Everyone needs help.